Hello guys, I made a video for Facebook recently where I asked you to boycott the NFL um, and gave some reasons why and opened up about uh, kind of for the first time to people more publicly that what I've been going through and what I believe to be CTE going on in my life. Um, and I didn't want to make or give the assumption that I believe the NFL you know, or someone else to be solely responsible for what might ha happened in my life. I believe a big part of life is taking responsibility for yourself and um, and your actions. And, you know, there are times where people deceive you, as I, I somewhat, be I do believe to a certain extent, you know, a lot of the guys, especially my age, were deceived, you know, for a long time. They could have came out and told us these things earlier and it could have saved us a lot of um and it could have saved us a lot of heartache and and health problems but um regardless we still made the decisions to play and we we have to be held accountable for all of our decisions in life so you have a certain responsibility to own up to your actions and you have you know it it's uh it stinks when you get deceived but you also ha you hold a certain responsibility not to be deceived and um but i think the main thing i wanted to put out there was i wanted to make sure i let people know the ways that i believe that i'm accountable for my current situation and these aren't all of them but it's just a short list and so um here i go here's the ways that i'm accountable for my current situation um I loved playing football ever since I was a kid, and I knew that I could have been seriously hurt at any time. I made a habit of hitting with my head, although I didn't know all of the consequences from playing like that. I made a decision to play at every level that I did. I may have had signs of depression from an early age that I didn't pay significant enough attention to. I didn't make the healthiest choices in my diet or do significant research on what a healthy diet was throughout all of my life. I didn't always drink enough water. I chose to do certain drugs that may have been bad for me. I chose to take certain sports supplements that may have been bad for me. I chose to drink alcohol and that could have been bad for me. I chose to have a nihilistic and self-destructive attitude from a young age. I could have paid closer attention to my health. I could have chosen to be done playing and focus on resolving my health complications after being diagnosed with Graves' disease. I could have chosen to focus solely on my education and could have gotten a good degree that paid well instead of dedicating all my extra time and energy into football. I could have valued and listened to the advice of others who cared about me. I could have been doing research on how guys who play the sport I do, the way I do, feel later in life. I could have been more precautious with the prescription drugs that I take that I did have prescriptions for. I could have been I could have practiced having a healthy balance in life. I could have been more precautious with the amount of caffeine I drink. I could have tried different things. I could have listened to my intuition more. I could have made more changes. And I could have quit. So I know that's not all of them, but those are some of the ways I could have changed my situation. Um, things that I were completely in my hands that... I went along with and uh, so for what that's worth you know I'm, I'm just I believe in that I believe in telling the truth and owning up to that and um, I don't think it doesn't mean there's not anything else that you know there's not other factors and there's not ways the NFL kind of deceived us and and withheld things from us but you know um, I think if we trust too much on like the government to be accountable for fixing all the ways things have gone wrong, you know, that's a lot of pressure. That's a pretty big assumption. Um, you know, that's a pretty big thing to request to think like the government's going to right every wrong. So, you know, I think you do have to be realistic and realize that there's ways that you may be wronged in life that will never have justice, you know, and that the best way, you know, to live life and a reason why some of these are kind of ancient bits of wisdom is that you need to take responsibility for your life you know you can be responsible for being accountable for your actions 
and you can own up to those and hopefully everyone does that you know if we all did that we could have Roger Goodell maybe own up and you know there's a certain amount to you know being truthful and going you know the world's a better place for everyone when everyone does that and we can't trust you know there's some people who fall victim to greed the Roger Goodells and the NFL executives you know who they put thousands of our lives at stake when they knew there wasn't something right the players you know that some of their best players from history you know have been you know they want to put them in the media you know they'll put the most healthiest ones that make you think everything's just fine and uh, you know it was deceiving and you got deceived and maybe tricked to it a little bit but you're also accountable um, and you know in a perfect world maybe with the perfect justice system everything would be fixed but you know can we count on like getting uh, can we count on being reimbursed, you know, for the damages that have happened in our lives, you know? I don't think so. How could we? I mean, there's thousands of guys like this. Where's the money going to come? I know the NFL, I mean, even if they, they have a lot of money, they could at least attempt to, but am I counting on it? Do I expect it? No, not really. Because, you know, the world's not perfect. The, the systems that are trying to hold the world accountable aren't perfect. Even some of those people fall victim to greed and corruption. And, um might be kind of going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but for the most part, that's my spiel again. Thanks for listening. Bye.